What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to the Tottenham Ajax Champions League semi-final analysis video. What a magnificent game this was, especially for Ajax, this team proving the doubters wrong and causing huge upsets. They won away at Real Madrid, they won away at Juventus in Turin and they won away at Tottenham in London, an absolutely incredible achievement. And just to put that into context, Ajax have won as many games away from home in the Champions League this season as Manchester City have done in throughout their all their history in the Champions League. That is that is incredible, honestly. And Ajax are playing with the freedom that uh, you know they are under no pressure they they are just enjoying their football and it's honestly a joy to watch and if Liverpool weren't in the Champions League semi-finals I would want Ajax to win the whole thing I would want Ajax to win the Champions League and this team of course it's sad that it will be picked apart but that's just the nature of football nowadays that uh, the big uh, uh, talented players, big talents gravitate towards bigger clubs and honestly the Ajax stars probably deserve to have uh, bigger wages and play four big trophies season in season out. Frankie de Jong is, is already going to Barcelona, it's confirmed, but I, I'm sure that David Neres, Van der Beek, Delict, and even maybe Dusan Tadic and Hakim Ziyech these are the best players in this Ajax team and uh, I think they are riding a wave that is that is almost unprecedented. This Ajax team reminds me of the Monaco team of like three years ago I think it was where they got to the Champions League semi-finals. On the other hand it's a bitterly desperately disappointing night for Tottenham because they are so so close to the Holy Grail, the Champions League. And imagine what the Arsenal fans would do if Tottenham won the Champions League before them. That would be incredible. But also, Tottenham were missing Harry Kane. Dele Alli was suspended, so they were playing with Llorente up front and probably lacked a bit of pace up front. And frankly, their best players, Dele Alli and Eriksen had a bad day, they didn't really play well and that's I think the most disappointing thing about Tottenham. This uh, air of in invincibility that they had uh, at their new stadium where they won every game before the West Ham game four days ago and they didn't even concede a goal, concede a goal that is gone. Now they lost back-to-back -back games in uh, four days and I think uh, Ajax deserved to win this game, in my opinion. The first half Ajax were by far the better team. Tottenham just came into it in the second half a little bit, but Ajax missed a glorious chance. David Neres hit the post in the second half and that could have ended the tie. If it's 2-0 Ajax, it would be almost impossible for Tottenham to win by three goals. As it stands, a 2-1 win for Tottenham is enough to go through or a 1-0 win of course for extra time. So they just need to win in Amsterdam, which is going to be difficult because this Ajax team scored more than 160 goals already this season. An incredible achievement and they are still fighting for the Dutch league title. That could complicate things um, in the Champions League for them, but I, I think this, this Ajax team is just enjoying themselves so much because nobody expecting Ajax to to go through in each of their rounds so they are, they are playing under no pressure and it probably showed Tottenham players were probably crushed a little bit under pressure and Ajax Ajax were clearly the better team and they, in fact Musa Sissoko said a very very uh, surprising thing that uh, that the Ajax players intimidated Tottenham and I'm not really sure what he means by that but I want to read his interview to you guys though so he said the start of the match was not good on our part we were perhaps intimidated by the challenge he told in an interview we did not play our football I tried to be bring back the impact in the second half it was better we could have done better it's a shame to lose this match but there is a second leg so maybe they weren't intimidated by Ajax themselves but maybe because of the occasion and uh, it's always very difficult uh, many managers are saying to the players play the game not play don't play the occasion but uh, 
some players can get too nervous under pressure and certainly the, the biggest uh, Tottenham players looked a little bit nervous especially when Ajax scored an early goal that heaped even more pressure what a goal by Van de Beek and a fantastic assist by Dusan Tadic Van de Beek just on side, only just on side and he does two fake shots when he's one on one with the goalkeeper to have the composure as a, as a teenager, I think Van de Beek is a teenager or maximum 20, 21 years old not sure how old he is, but he showed the experience of a seasoned striker uh, scoring that, that goal, the, the way that he scored that goal, he was so calm, so composed in a Champions League semi-final away from home that is very very impressive, very commendable and uh, I, have, I give huge credit to Ajax I think that one of the big reasons why Tottenham played so badly, especially in the first half, is because the Ajax tactics were spot on and we were debating this during the game with my girlfriend the, how much is it the players and how much is it the manager Ten Hag has, do, has done wonders with this Ajax team, Ajax team and don't get me wrong, he deserves huge praise but I always wonder what percentage of this success of Ajax going to the Champions League semi-finals and even maybe going to the final how much of that, of that is it down to the players and how much of that is it down to the manager? Of course the manager has a big part to play, he sets up the tactics, he motivates the players but this Ajax team is a generational classic team with so so many great young talents coming through I mean I already mentioned Frankie De Jong, Delict, Hakim Ziyech uh, Van de Beek, these are very very big talented players Taya Fico even uh, is also a very talented player so I always debate uh, this how much is it down to the manager and how much is it down to the players so what do you think guys let me know in the comments below and also Musa Sissoko continued the first thing in football is the impact especially in this kind of match this is only the first leg we knew what this team was capable of uh, Ajax, we saw it against Real Madrid and Juventus there is a lot of carefreeness and serenity in this team we get, if we get the qualification there it will be even more beautiful so I, I don't, I'm sure that the Tottenham players don't give up but uh, I, think, uh, I think they will have a very very tough task can you imagine of the atmosphere in the Ajax stadium, it will be rocking and I, I would love to go there and just go into the game because that will be one of the best Ajax Amsterdam uh, atmospheres in the past 10 years I'm sure this is probably the second leg is probably Ajax's biggest game in a, in a long long time and Ajax are a big club in the, in the European competition, in the Champions League they, they have won I think 4 Champions Leagues already but most of them came um, uh, very early in the 80s and, and the 90s uh, I remember partly Krivert scoring a, a Champions League final winner when he came through at Ajax and uh, what is also very ironic is that uh, some of the Tottenham team used to play for Ajax Vertonghen, Alderweireld, even Eriksen I think used to play for Ajax by the way that uh, Vertonghen injury was so so nasty uh, it, it almost like was painful just w watching it and I think it's concerning to see that uh, the Tottenham uh, uh, medics let Vertonghen to play. In that case when there is a danger of concussion I think uh, you should take the opportunity out of the player's hands to decide whether he should play on or not. For example Fabinho suffered concussion in the, in the Liverpool game uh, before the Huddersfield game and he was taken off one minute after he came on. I think it was against Porto even though Fabinho probably wanted to continue it's better to be safe and sorry because if Fartongen suffers a bigger injury because of uh, playing for another 5 minutes that would be very unfortunate so I think the rules need to be changed about concussion and let's talk about the Ajax manager Eric Ten Hag he has been uh, the assistant of Steve McLaren and also uh, under Pep Guardiola I think he learned a lot about Pep Guardiola because uh, he was uh, the 
second team's manager at Bayern Munich when Bagardiola was at Bayern Munich. I'm not sure many of you guys know that. And, and he learned probably some of his philosophy and some of his playing style under Pep Guardiola because Pep Guardiola played the same football at Bayern, almost the same football as, as, at Bayern that what he did at Barcelona. And it was a really, really, I think this is the breakthrough season of Eric Ten Hag. And I have a feeling that one of the big clubs, maybe in the Premier League or in, uh, or in the Bundesliga or even in, uh, in the Serie A, one of the big clubs will appoint Eric Ten Hag because sometimes the RX managers go on to, to get uh, bigger jobs. I remember Frank de Boer got the job of Inter Milan not too long ago and also um, Peter Boss, who used to be the Ajax manager, he got the job of Dortmund not too long ago. Those weren't successful, but this is a great uh, like learning curve for Eric Ten Hag. And honestly, to guide this young team to a Champions League semi-final, and Ajax have now a very good chance, I would say 65% chance against Tottenham to get to the final. Of course I want Liverpool to win the Champions League, but if Liverpool go out against Barcelona, I want Ajax to win the Champions League. Uh, that would be just a magnificent achievement. And some of these players know, the Ajax players, that that will be potentially their last game as, uh, as Ajax players. So they will uh, want to go out with the biggest trophy there is in club football. Can you imagine? the scenes in Amsterdam if Ajax win the Champions League wow that would be spectacular so yeah let me know what do you think about this game in the comments below and thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this see you later guys goodbye